Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today, we're diving deep into a powerful quote by Thich Nhat Hanh. If you love someone but rarely make yourself available to him or her, that is not true love. Thich Nhat Hanh. Love's proof. This quote highlights the importance of actions in expressing love. So, what does this quote mean in simpler terms? Basically, it's saying that love needs to be shown, not just felt. If you're claiming to love someone but you never spend time with them, never make an effort, never truly put yourself out there, then your feelings might be genuine, but they're not truly being expressed. Now, the big question for you today is, how much are you truly present in the lives of the people you love? Are you showing up for them consistently? Or are you allowing your busyness, your distractions, or even your fear to hold you back? Think of it like this, my friends. Just like Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. You can say you love someone, but if your actions don't reflect that love, it's like a flower that never blooms, or a song that's never sung. The potential is there, but it's not fulfilled. True love needs to be nurtured. It needs to be given space to grow, and it needs to be shown through our actions. And that's where we need to really dive into the heart of this quote. You know, as Marcus Aurelius once said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. We need to ask ourselves, why do we hold back? Why do we make ourselves unavailable? Often, it's fear. The fear of vulnerability. The fear of rejection. The fear of putting ourselves out there and potentially getting hurt. But as Seneca famously said, the greatest remedy for anger is delay. We need to pause breathe and ask ourselves, what are we truly afraid of? Now, let's shift the conversation a bit and bring in the wisdom of the Buddha. He said that all suffering comes from attachment. In this case, the attachment to our fears is holding us back from experiencing the fullness of love. If we can let go of these fears, we can create space for true connection and authentic love to blossom. Like Thich Nhat Hanh himself often reminded us, the most important thing is to be able to give and to receive with love and understanding. And remember, friend, you are worthy of love and you are capable of giving love. Take a step forward, make yourself available and let love flow freely. You might be surprised by the amazing things that unfold when you start showing up for the people you love. If you got any value out of this message, please give us a like, share and subscribe for more daily wisdom.